Hey friends of the twins, good morning and welcome back to our channel. Now this is Rhonda and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some other updates that I made around my new house. And I'm also gonna share with you a small decor haul. And I'm also gonna share with you how I'm going to style some of the things that I'm gonna show you in the haul. Now, if it's something that you're interested in, then please keep watching. Now, friends, we're gonna start this haul off here in my living room. And I wanted to show you my new fan that is up. I will also show you a glimpse of what the old fan looked like. And the old fans were throughout almost every room in the house. So I knew coming in that I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to change out the lighting. And now we're going to go ahead and get started with our other uh, haul decor items. I feel like things are really moving along now. So we've been here since December 14th. But honestly, y'all, I feel like um, we couldn't really start getting things done around here until we got the other house sold. So we got the other house sold at the end of April and it is full speed ahead with the things that I wanna do around here. Now, uh, one of the first things that I'm doing is I want everything organized. Y'all le leave me a comment and let me know if y'all wanna see the organization videos like I'm gonna be um, getting the pantry all organized and that kind of thing. If that's something y'all want to see, leave me a comment. If it's, if that's something that y'all are not interested in, then I won't even bother bringing that to you, but I am working on getting everything organized around here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some things that I've been buying for organization. And here's the one I'm going to start with. Oh, we're going to start here. I have gotten me spice jars. I got these from Amazon. Any and everything in this haul video that I can link for you, I will. These are, I think they're four ounces. They might be three, but um, you know, they have the little pour spout on the top. Made of glass. Really love that. And I ended up getting 36 of them. Um, I don't think I'll need that many. I might, I don't know. Anyway, I have new spice jars with the black caps. And I also got me some scoops. These are little scoops for, you know how you have your glass jars, just say maybe you keep your flour, sugar, that kind of thing. I got me some scoops. Now these are the six ounce, the six ounce. These might end up being too big, but I'll see. They, they might work, I don't know, I'll see. But anyway, I got me some scoops and it came as a set of six. Okay, keeping with the organization, with the spice jars, they came with labels. And they are different size labels, you can't really see that, but it also has a little funnel pour spout thing, a little brush to clean with. Here's some other labels. And I do have, where are they? Here they are. These, now these came with, all this stuff came with the spice jars. This I ordered separately because it's more the look that I want now. Shame on me, but I do not have a Cricut. And um, so, but I knew that I wanted clear labels so I ordered clear labels and it and it also comes with a pen that you can use, you know, to write on. So I got a lot of clear labels. Let's see, next thing for organization is I am changing out all of my cereal containers. I want it to go with black. This is two stuck together and here is the lid that goes on it. And it's trimmed in black like that. It has the pour spout right here which is definitely a must, but I have four of these. Now I'm not sure that I'm gonna use all four for cereal, probably only end up using two of them for cereal, but I have new cereal containers. And let me see, the last thing 
for organization is this. I got me a new bag holder. You know how you have your bags that you get your plastic bags. I got me a new bag holder. My other one I left at the old house and I got me a new one. Okay, so that's all for organization. And now let's move on to some home decor stuff. Yes. All right, now this next item that I'm gonna share with you, when I walked into the thrift store, we walked around for just a minute. And then I was like, oh! this was not something that I, now this, this was a little bit of my old habits peeking through. It, this was definitely something that I did not have to have. It's just something that I wanted and the price was good. Y'all remember how I've told y'all before, if I see something in one color and I like it, I'll buy it in multiple colors. This was kind of along that, kind of along with that same thought, um, but in a different way. And you'll see how in just a minute. First of all, let me show y'all what I already had. And this is what made me want it. Now, I'm not currently using this color. I used this color last fall. It it might show up again this fall because I um, last fall I used navy. And so that was the first year I used navy. And so it might come back again. So I had this. And I had made me a beautiful floral arrangement. With, and I'll show that to y'all. But I had this beautiful picture with a navy handle, navy here, and the pretty gold here. And this is what I walked into and saw and almost had a fit. It was this. It's the matching bowl. Now, isn't that gorgeous? Yep, it's the matching bowl. See there? And so when I saw the bowl, I just had to have it. Had to, had to, had to. Y'all know I love floral arrangements. I will probably put a floral arrangement in here. You could also put the round orbs in here. You could put anything you want. But now I know y'all can see exactly why your girl had to have it. And guess how much it was? This beautiful bowl was only $10. So there was no way that I was going to be able to leave it. Another thing that I bought was these. I got me some beautiful new placemats. These came from Amazon. Like I said, I'll link everything that I can for you. Just check the description box when the video is over. But I ordered 10 of these. Now in my formal dining room, it seats five. And in our breakfast nook, seats four. So what I plan to do is Y'all, I'm gonna spray paint some of these. I paint them. Now, this is a beautiful champagne gold color. And I'll probably definitely use this color in the breakfast nook. And but I need a different color for the formal dining room. And next is these. Y'all keep hearing me say, y'all already know though, that I am a lover of florals. So I got these, couldn't resist them. I got me two of these for a floral arrangement that I'm gonna be making. These were from Michaels, $7.99 and half off or 60% off, I believe. Yeah, 60% off. And as a matter of fact, all the florals that I'm gonna share with you came from Michaels. I got me two of these. These always just make your floral arrangements to me. It gives a little bit of drama and, you know, I like um, to add in a, an element of, you know, hanging florals. It just makes your, your arrangement look elegant to me. And then the last ones that I got at Michael's are these. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this vibrant yellow color. It is perfect for what I have going on in my formal dining room. Now. I have a video showing where we recently put up wainscoting in the formal dining room. I'll leave it linked down below for you if you haven't seen that. But in that video, you get a glimpse of the color scheme that I have going on in there. 
The reason why I haven't done a formal dining room tour is because I am waiting for one more decor piece to come in and it is on the way. Definitely once it's here, you will get a formal dining room tour. All right now, let's see what's next. Um, I got this. This came from Home Goods. Couldn't resist this. This was 20, y'all, I need some glasses, $29.99. And I really, really, really love this. This champagne gold is, is what's uh, presently in here in this, um, in the living room. And, you know, I love this. It has like that branch detail. It's unique. So it definitely caught my eye. And what else? Oh, I got these from a thrift store. They were a little bit pricey for a thrift store, but I liked them, so I got them. I've been on the lookout for something else to hang on the wall in there, and I walked in and I found these. These are, and I actually have two of them. Big leaves. I think that these will be pretty in there. One thing I'm definitely gonna change when, but I have other other things that take priority now is, y'all, I don't like that table that's in there. Uh, it got a big scratch on it when we moved. I've worked on it and it, that is better, but also, um, you know, I just, I don't, I just, I don't know. I just don't like that table. Now I do like that dark wood color. So I am gonna be going with dark wood again, but I am, gonna be eventually on the lookout for a new table to go in that space. So, breakfast nook, refresh. And what else do I have here? This might be the last item, and y'all, it actually just came as I was getting ready to um, film this video. Hold on a minute, let me get it out of the box. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna show it to y'all in pieces. And well, I'm gonna share with you, here's the first part of it. I think it's beautiful. Y'all know we are Tuscan girls at heart, so I actually love, Shonda always says, the swirls and curls. And I also love that it's wrought iron. And y'all are saying, Rhonda, what in the world is that? I do have a confession though. It looked a little bit more gold on the website, but I still love it. I can absolutely make it work for what I plan to do with it and just wait till y'all hear what I plan to do with it. Y'all gonna think I've lost my mind. Here is the other part. Now y'all absolutely know what it is now. And here is the last part. So here it is, friends. It is a beautiful drink dispenser. And I actually ordered three of these in total. Y'all, this came from Home Goods. Now, this one was $29.99. Uh, but y'all, guess what I plan to do with this? Like I said, I came in into this new house kind of running and now I'm going back getting things how I really want it. So these, these are gonna be going in my laundry room. And I am so excited, I cannot wait. Now, some of y'all say, laundry room, you are gonna use that in your laundry room? Yes, I am. And if I should change my mind after having used it in the laundry room for a while, y'all, all it's gonna take is a little bit of soap and water to clean it out and then I can use it however I, you know, however I choose. All right, friends, that's all I have for you as far as the haul is concerned. Now, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna share with you how I'm gonna be using some of these things that I've shared in the haul, how I'm gonna be styling them here in the house. So y'all just stay tuned for that. Hey friends, it is actually the next day. And so we are gonna start this morning here in the dining room. What we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna be putting together a floral arrangement. I wanna have this room all done so that when this piece comes, you know, I can get it into the room and decorate it and we can roll from there. I can't wait to see this space 
completely finished. And so now I'm gonna show you the base that I'm gonna be using and we will also look at the flowers. All right, so here is the base that I'm gonna be using and it is a rather large base. I love it, love it, love it. I think it's just perfect for what I wanna do here for this summer. I love the texture that's on it, the pattern that's on it. And now if y'all remember, I have told y'all that sometimes I have a problem with seeing things that I like and if they're in multiple colors or anything like that, then I will, you know, get it in all colors. Well, that's a similar situation with this because not only did I get this face, but I also got this one. And both of these came from Home Goods. I just could not get one and not get the other. But today we are gonna actually use this one. And like I said, it is a rather large base. So we're gonna have to have, you know, I feel like uh, with this, I'm gonna go big and bold. I am a lover of big and bold. If that's something that you like, you are definitely on the right channel. So what I do when I put floral arrangements together is I just go along, I go to my little stash and I pull out any and everything that I, th I think might work. So these are just some of the flowers that I pull for today. Now that doesn't mean that you know, all of these gonna make the cut. And these are actually, this one, if you'll notice, the color on this one is more like a cream and the color on these flowers are white. So I have two bundles in the white and I haven't separated them from the bundle. I probably won't, I'll probably just put them in just like they are. These remind me of the, what do you call them? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Leave me a message in the, comment section you know the things you pull out of the yard when you were little kids and you blow them that's what these remind me of so I thought this might be fun I got these a while ago but I love these little palm leaves they might make the cut these are the ones I showed y'all in the hall that I just got at Michael's and these I just absolutely love absolutely love how vibrant this color this yellow color is I just love that I also like the pretty little shape of the petals, the flower itself. All right, friends, the first thing I'm gonna do is to move this beauty out of the way. So when I put flower arrangements together, especially like I want this one to be big and bold, the first thing that I wanna do, oh, if y'all haven't seen our Michaels Sneaky Store Styling, Go and watch that. I, I will try to remember to link that video down in the description box. But if I forget, y'all go to our channel and look up. It's the latest video. It's the last video we put out. It's the Michael Sneaky Store Styling. And you will see my same approach there as, um, you know, to how I put together large floral arrangements. Oh, and it came out absolutely beautiful in pink. My favorite color, y'all gotta see that. Oh, it's just, it was just gorgeous. It was hard for me to leave that one in the store. But anytime I'm gonna go with a lot of flowers and a big, bold, big bold arrangement, I start with what I call my fillers. So I have to be mindful of this, um, of my lighting fixture. So, I do, but I do want it to come and almost kiss the top of it. I have bent the stems a little bit, well, a lot. And I like to start with what I call the filler pieces because it will go ahead and give you your shape of your arrangement. And then once you, once you get it, see how it's already filling in this big old base? And then from, from there, to me, it's just, you know, putting in your accent flower. It's gonna give me that full look right from the start. So let's just get all these in here. And what I did was try to put my two bundles that have the white color, put them on the outside, and then just kind of stick the one that has the cream color, stick it right down in the middle. Okay, so, y'all, I know, now I know, that when you, if I were actually having dinner guests, I would not keep this arrangement on the table. I would put together something quickly because who can see, you can't see your guests if you had this big old arrangement on here, but 
But for me, for now, what I'm doing, I don't have any dinner dates planned or, or dinner parties, anything like that. So this is, honestly, y'all, is strictly for Rhonda to look at when I come back to the dining room. So that's why I'm just, I choose to go big and bold with this, kind of my everyday look. So I played around with the flower arrangement a little bit and I kind of like the shape that's going on here. As you can see, just kind of fans out, which is what I was going for. And so now, now I'm just playing, trying to figure out which is gonna make it and which aren't. And I don't know, I'm gonna hold off on these I think this is truly giving me that summer look that I want and I'm not sure about these yet. So let's hold off on those. I can't wait to get my hands on these yellow ones. So we're gonna play with these next. And these were $2.99 for a little, little bundle like this. I'm just seeing if I'm gonna have to bend the stem and I might not. five of these so I want to be sure and distribute this beautiful yellow color kind of all throughout. friends and now we made our way in here into the breakfast nook and I wanted to show y'all why I have been so anxious to change this rug out now when we moved here there was a rug already on this floor and I imagine that it was at least a seven by nine maybe eight by ten and but I didn't discover until I moved you know changed out that rug and put this white one down that you know there was a difference in color in the floors it was totally covered up by that other rug. So, you know, I'm not too mad at that. Um, I actually wanted a bigger rug in here. I think this one is a little bit small. Now the chairs do fit onto the rug. They don't overlap onto the floor, but there's not a lot of space left. So, you know, it just really gave me an excuse to go and buy me a larger rug. And as you'll see in a minute, that new rug made all the difference in the world. And as we move on over here to the breakfast nook, I want to tell you all that it is absolutely true that when you have a larger rug, it makes your space feel larger. That is exactly what happened here in this breakfast nook, and I love it. And I just went with a somewhat simple yet elegant table centerpiece so that it would not compete with my beautiful new chandelier. As always, friends, we want you to make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short. And thanks so much for watching.